Hi, welcome to the Cocktail Vlog. I'm Steve the Bartender, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make yet another five iconic rum cocktails. They're easy to recreate at home. I do have four different rums in front of me, as you can see. But if you'd like to, if you've just got one rum, you can use that across all the cocktails. It's gonna be a slightly different. Uh, they're gonna be a little bit of a different profile to those drinks, but it's still gonna work. So today on the bar, I've got uh, two white rums. I've got Havana Club, which is Cuban, Bacardi, which is Puerto Rican, uh, Caruba, which is a dark rum, and Apple Swings, which is an aged rum. So I'm running with the same format as volume number one, which I'll link to up here. I'm starting with two really popular cocktails, being the Pina Colada and the Cuba Libra, for changing into two lesser known cocktails and finishing off with one that probably no one's ever heard of. So make sure you stick around to the end. And of course, if you enjoy the video, make sure you click the button and become a subscriber and don't forget to hit the bell button. So starting with cocktail number one, the Cuba Libre. So the Cuba Libre traditionally calls for a white rum, but you can go a gold or aged rum to add a little bit of complexity. And this drink is much more than just rum and cola. It, it, it's steeped in history. The drink originated in the early 1900s after Cuba won independence in the Spanish-American War. And the words Cuba Libre literally means free Cuba. So first, start by squeezing in half a fresh lime into your highball glass. And I'm just gonna dump the spent lime straight into the bottom of the drink. And measure out 60 ml, or two ounces of your preferred rum. So as I, as I said, traditionally white rum, but you can use whatever you like. Fill your highball glass with ice and then just top it with Coke. So there you have the Cuba Libra. Cheers. So next we've got the Pina Colada. The recipe originates from 1922. Given that it's Puerto Rican, I'm gonna use a Puerto Rican rum, or well, it does originate from Cuba. I'm gonna start off with 45 mil, or one and a half ounces of that rum. As I said, if you prefer to use a different white rum, go right ahead. Then 90 mil of coconut cream, three ounces and then follow that with 180 ml or six ounces of pineapple juice. Add ice to your blender jug and give it a blend for about 20, 30 seconds. If you want to, you can make it a little bit easier on the blender itself and just use crushed ice. So it should come out a nice smooth consistency, just like this one. And I'm gonna use it in a colada or hurricane glass. It's got a nice big volume. And then garnish with a pineapple wedge. And there you have the pina colada. Next cocktail is the hurricane. So the hurricane comes from New Orleans back in the early 40s. And today I'm gonna to shake the cocktail and then strain it over crushed ice. So it's got two different kinds of rum and it is pretty potent. So it's start off with your light rum and measure out 60 ml or two ounces. And then partner that with a dark rum. Today I'm gonna to use Karuba. Four shots of rum, it's gonna be pretty deadly. And the next ingredient, fresh lime juice, 30 ml or one ounce, and freshly squeezed orange juice. Same, 30 ml, one ounce. 15 mils of passion fruit puree, and a bar spoon of grenadine. I'm gonna let it go a little bit heavier. Given that I'm using such a dark, rich rum, I really want that uh, nice color to come through. And it's gonna be a little bit sweeter to, to combat the intensity of that Karuba rum. So add ice to your cocktail shaker and give it a good shake for 12 seconds.
strain it into your traditional hurricane glass. And top with crushed ice. Then garnish with an orange wheel and a maraschino cherry. And there you have the hurricane. So cocktail number four, I'm making the Planters Punch, another cocktail that has disputed origins and many different variations. Some call for orange juice, pineapple juice, um, grenadine. Today, I'm probably gonna make the simplest of recipes, which is David Embry's version from about 1948. So some argue that the drink was originally made in the Caribbean, and some people say that it was made at the Planters Hotel in Charleston, South Carolina. So not 100% sure of that. Today I'm gonna to do it in a, a swizzle style. I'm gonna serve over crushed ice uh, and just stir it through. So I'm gonna measure out 60 mil of your dark rum. Two ounces. Thirty ml of fresh lemon juice, one ounce, twenty-two point five mils of simple syrup, three quarter ounce, and two dashes or two to three dashes of Angostura bitters. Now, depending on your personal preference. This is a very strong rum cocktail, uh, as, as the other one before, as the Hurricane, but you can add pineapple juice, as I said, or orange juice, depending on, on your liking or what variation you're gonna run with. So fill your glass with crushed ice and then give it a stir. So this one is another, it's a rum, tiki, tropical style drink. So tiki garnish, pineapple, mint, maraschino cherry. So there you have a planter's punch. So to round out volume number two, the dark horse, I'm gonna make the Feynman Sour. So this is a little bit of an adapted version, but it differs from a traditional sour being that it's with lime juice instead of lemon. But the key ingredient is the grenadine. This originated in the early 1900s when grenadine was being used in a lot of cocktails, a lot of drinks. And I've never heard this one before. If you haven't, please let me know. Or if you have, please let me know in the comments below. So traditional sour, I'm gonna start off with my white rum, measure out 60 mil, two ounces. Followed by fresh lime juice, 30 mil, one ounce. And the sugar component is gonna be the grenadine. And given the grenadine's quite, quite sweet, only 15 mil, half an ounce. And I'm assuming that the red color has given it its, its name, Fireman Sour. And last ingredient, an egg white. Or half an egg white. Give it a dry shake first to emulsify the egg white. Turn to an old fashioned glass and strain it over fresh ice. Garnish with a lime wedge. And they have the Feynman Sour. So there you have five iconic rum cocktails. So make sure you let me know in the comments below which cocktail you would choose from these five. And as always, I'll see you soon for another cocktail video. Make sure you like and subscribe and hit that bell button. I'll see you soon. Cheers.